Hi everyone, my name is Thomas Kim. Today is December 3rd, 2019. This is my 41st episode about linear algebra and threading building blocks. In my previous episode, episode 40, we learned about Gaussian elimination algorithm. We implemented this algorithm using sequential recursion. Because all my videos are in tutorial fashion, if you haven't watched my previous episode, episode 40, you may not be able to follow my current session. So if you haven't watched my previous video, please double click this link and watch my previous video. After watching my previous video, then watch my current session. I am planning to implement determinant using Gaussian elimination in my next episode, inverse over matrix using Gauss-Jordan elimination algorithm, then system of linear equations. In this case, this is Gaussian elimination. Then we will implement LU decomposition, LU factorization with partial pivoting, full pivoting, etc. Then I will also implement eigenvalues and eigenvectors. These are temporary plans. I can change my plan anytime. Now scroll down. You can click this link to download previous source code. Show in folder, unzip the folder, right click, rename, 41, Gaussian elimination, parallel. Copy the folder, paste it to your working folder. This is my working folder. Start Visual Studio code. Open the folder, double click Gaussian.cpp from Gaussian Elimination Parallel. Ctrl V. Say, I almost never do copy and paste in my video, and I don't use any source code developed by some other programmers. I can borrow other people's idea or concept or method but I never copy and paste other people's work in my video or in my real work. So you can use all the source code I develop or implement in my videos without any limitation. If I ever copy and paste source code from third party, then I clearly state the fact and pay proper attribution and credit to its original author. Without further ado, let's get started. Control Home. Is a pivot not zero? We created this function in our previous video. And I found a bug in this function. So in this case, I can fail all these tests and fall down. I can be the low count of A. So it can fail. We have to fix like this. I less than A lose. We have to fix like this. Also scroll down. I found another mistake. Here, we have to take this part out. Out of the block, if block. We have to fix like this. Now, I will delete this part. And fix like this. Also, we can put here default value 0. And scroll down. We can now remove this part. I fixed like this. Now start command prompt. dir cd 41 Gaussian elimination parallel. Clang plus plus std c plus plus 17 Gaussian dot cpp ltbb ltbb maloc hit enter. CLS. Yes, this works correctly. Now, I will copy this function. This is recursion. Scroll down. Copy, paste. Now, we will change the function name. Gaussian elimination. I say loop. Loop means iterative loop. And I will delete this part. Please note that k starts with 0, ends with this boundary. 
so I will delete this part and I will turn it into loop like this disable this part for size t k start with 0 k plus 1 less than a loss plus plus k okay I modified this part now scroll down now it is loop so we don't need to call recursively and this is for debugging purpose so I will also delete debugging code so this is Gaussian elimination using loop copy the function name and paste it here C or C A then we print out C this is C now let's build once again hit enter CLS our loop implementation also works correctly of course I can implement this algorithm from scratch using loop the reason I introduced recursion like this way it is much easier to understand from this I will delete this part now and also this part I fixed like this now it has some problems we can put a fix like this size t rows minus 1 a rows we extract row count of matrix a if rows minus 1 is less than 2 it means row count is 0 or 1 in such case we return okay we abort this function I will copy return cut and put it here then rows minus 1 we decrease like this instead of doing this we can say k is less than a rows minus 1 and this value is rows minus 1 okay this is effectively the same I hope you understand this now I will copy this code once again copy paste now I convert it to parallel parallel scroll up I need to introduce another namespace namespace bar talk play fun parallel so this is parallel namespace scroll down this is parallel algorithm we cannot parallelize this outer block we cannot parallelize this outer block why think about this why leave your comments or opinion why it's not possible to parallelize outer block leave your comment about why we cannot parallelize outer block but we can parallelize inner block okay so we will parallelize this part i will disable this part or handle parallel we will capture all or this index i i like this then don't forget semicolon here for for index this index starts with k plus 1 so we can say k plus 1 ends with a row count a rows then we call this function this parallel algorithm like this 
it's really simple. Now, I scroll down, I scroll down here. I will copy this part, copy, paste, then it is D. This is parallel D, and this is D, like this. Now, let's build once again. CLS. Wow! This is recursion. This is a sequential loop. This is a parallel algorithm. In my next episode, we will implement determinant using Gaussian elimination. We will benchmark Gaussian elimination algorithm in my next episode. I will upload complete source code to my website. By the time you watch this episode, you can click this link and download the complete source code. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.